So Basco asks on the a question regarding the aerial video of the greenhouse video that we put up. This is the shorts video um, where we're flying the drone over top of the greenhouse as it's being constructed. He says, why not join the greenhouse to the house? I understand there will be some humidity issues, but that could be controlled uh, for sure. Absolutely, you're right. It could totally be controlled. In fact, um, I'm not sure if the camera lens is picking it up, but right to the left of me is our house. The house here has a south surface and we're actually gonna put a passive solar greenhouse coming off of the house right here. And so we're gonna have our kitchen garden in that greenhouse. Um, but in order to do it, we're actually going to have to uh, make a few adjustments to the home. So number one, um, when the siding, when we retrofit this house, the siding's gonna have to come off. And, uh, and then we're gonna have to uh, make sure that we protect the wall with probably something like a blue skin so that vapor can't go into the house this way. We're probably also going to build the greenhouse wall um, off with a, probably put a two by four here so that we have an airspace between the house and the greenhouse wall so that if any moisture does transit into this system, it'll have the ability to probably come out. We, we actually, this is a really interesting point. I'm kind of designing this through my head right now, but these are some of the considerations you have to think about. So right up here, we've got soffits and the soffits are perforated metal panels that allow um, dry, and you, ideally you want dry air to move through the roof system to dry out the roof. So any condensation that happens underneath the steel roof you need to remove that moisture, otherwise you're gonna to have toxic mold forming there. So if you build a greenhouse right here and all of that hot, humid air ends up into the soffits, you're gonna actually create a really big problem in your roof system. So we'll actually have to build an airspace between the wall and the greenhouse, and then we'll have to make sure that we direct any humid air in that airspace outside of um, this little area with the soffit. So there's a few things you gotta think about. We're probably then gonna put a door right here so we can come out of our, I'm getting dripped on by my crappy gutters. Uh, we'll put a door in right here so that we can walk into our greenhouse from the outside. And, uh, and then we're gonna end up with probably having to sink the greenhouse down. So we're gonna go probably down three or four feet and then build a ring wall around here. And so that those stairs will come down into this beautiful sunken greenhouse. We may put a hot tub in here, we'll see. Lots to, to think about, but that's kind of where we're planning on putting our attached greenhouse. The greenhouse that I'm standing in front of today, or sitting in front of, uh, is our production greenhouse. And so this is where we're gonna produce, you know, all of our tomatoes and eggplants and peppers, um, all of our hot season crops, some of our squash, some potentially some more exotic beans, maybe some okra, we'll see. Uh, but there's 800 square feet in there, which is almost the same size as my house. And so we're gonna have multiple greenhouses here. We have a pretty short growing season. We have cold nights. Um, and so for a long time, I thought I wanted to move to a warmer climate, but I fell in love with this property and just decided, well, the property has lots of other benefits. I'll just have lots of greenhouses. So I'm gonna have one on my house. I'm gonna have one next to my house. And I'm probably gonna have one out in my garden as well. And they'll all be slightly different and they'll, they'll kind of serve different niches just to kind of continue to build our expertise in greenhouses. So if you're interested in designing your own greenhouse, I'll leave a link to our DIY greenhouse program, the case studies, as well as our full meal deal greenhouse design program in the show notes below. You can get access to that and uh, take a course on how to think about, th think through all of the different nuances that we just, some of which we just talked about in this video. And if you have any other questions, please, please leave them in the show notes below. Thank you.